guys in this video we are going to see an example of sinusoidal steady state analysis in this particular problem we have asked to find out the i of t that current through the 6 ohm resistor now this is in time domain this circuit is in time domain what we are going to do is we are going to convert this one into phasor domain then we are going to solve for this current after we solve this one we are going to convert this current back into time domain okay now let's go ahead and convert this one into phasor domain and before we convert this one let's write the terms like uh, what's what are these values are going to be for the phasor domain and here you can see when we convert this inductance and this capacitance into phasor domain all of these are going to become impedance okay so we can combine these two together because impedance is treated same as the resistance when we have impedance in series we can add them together like circuit so we can combine these two together and we can call this one z1 and we know that when we convert capacitance into phasor domain that's going to become negative j over omega c and when we convert inductance into phasor domain that's going to become j omega l okay we have to know what is the omega value in our case omega is equal to 2000 because in this equation whatever the value that's multiplying this t value that's the omega in our case that's 2000 so this is our omega and since we know the omega we can find out the impedances okay now let's go ahead and do for this one we can say z1 is equal to addition of these two these two impedances first one we have an in inductor and when we convert the inductance into impedance that's going to become j omega l j we keep j as, as it is and omega is equal to 2000 and then the inductance provided is 2 milli henrys 2 times 10 to the power minus 3 henrys and plus when we convert this capacitance that's going to be negative j over omega c so we can put negative here this is going to be negative j over omega is 2000 multiplied by the capacitance in our case capacitance is 1 over 3 millifarad so 1 over 3 times 10 to the power minus 3 from this one you can see this 10 to the power minus 3 this 3 0 cancels this 3 will flips and go to the top and here also you can see this 10 to the power minus 3 this 3 0 cancels so, so this is going to become just 4j okay here we are going to have 4j minus this 3 goes to the top so we are going to have 3 over 2j 3 over 2 is same as 1.5 so 4 minus 1.5 that's going to give us 2.5j now we have the z1 value now let's call this resistor z2 when we co convert resistor from time domain to phasor domain that's going to remain the same it's not going to change so we can just put 6 right here and uh, when we convert this capacitance into phasor domain this is going to turn into negative j over omega c negative j over omega z omega z and here we're going to have negative j over omega is 2000 times this 1 over 4 millifarad so 1 over 4 times 10 to the power minus 3 from this one we can see that this 10 to the power minus 3 these 3 0 cancels we are going to have this 4 will flip around and that's going to be 4 over 2 that's going to give us 2 right negative 2 j so this is our this impedance z uh, z3 so we have z1 z2 z3 and uh, when we convert this voltage source into phase domain this is going to become just 4 the amplitude at the angle 440 now we can go ahead and draw our new circuit okay let's draw our new circuit in our new circuit we are going to have let's choose a different color okay this is our new circuit in our new circuit we are going to have three impedances z1 z2 and z3 so let's put a box for that one okay and here we are going to have one and here we are going to have the voltage source and that's it right let's go ahead and draw this one here we are going to have 
this one of these impedance that is the first one is 2.5 j so this is 2.5 j and also we have one here this one is 6 this one is 6 and also we have one more here this one we calculated that is equal to negative 2j negative 2j and this uh, voltage source is going to become plus minus and here we are going to have 440 degree 440 so these are the this is our phase domain circuit now we can solve for our purpose is to find this small ift now when we convert this one into phase domain this small i ift will become capital i we don't put t in phase domain because in phase domain there's no t okay so this is capital i and uh, we are trying to find this one right so let's uh, we can use the nodal analysis in order to find this one let's call this node v1 and this is to the ground right this is to the ground so this is going to be zero and from this one we can clear the equation like let's choose a different color okay so from this one first one is going to be v1 minus zero over this volt this is same as resistance right impedance is treated same as resistance so v1 minus zero divided by this resistance so this is going to be v1 over 2.5 j and then we are going to add this one v1 minus zero divided by six v1 divided by six and this one v1 minus this voltage that is 440 or we can call this one vs so let's say vs is equal to four angle 40 degree okay so we can say this one is equal to v1 minus vs over the resistance in between that's negative 2j negative 2j that's equal to zero we know the vs value that is 440 i should have just put the value now i just uh, just put the value here so here we can just put 440 and we can solve for v1 if you solve for v1 you will get v1 is equivalent to 10.2899 and the angle is going to be just 99.0362 okay now we have the v1 value our purpose is to find out this current right so this current we can use the, like this current is going in this direction so this is zero right this voltage is zero zero minus v1 over this resistance so zero minus v1 so minus v1 over six that's going to be the equation i is equal to i is equal to minus v1 over six and we know the v1 value that is 10.2 2899 angle 99.0362 and also we have negative sign in front divided by 6 and if you calculate this one you are going to get 1.71498 and the angle is going to be negative 80.9638 okay now this is our current in phase domain now we have to convert this one into time domain to convert this one we are going to bring okay, let's write the final answer here so this is going to be our amplitude okay this is going to be our amplitude we can say small i of t in time domain this is small i of t that's equal to this amplitude is going to be first so that's going to be just approximately 1.715 we can round it up and we are going to put cos cos omega t the omega remains the same 2000 in our case so 2000 t minus the plus the angle this is minus 80.9638 degree so this is the angle we are going to have minus 80.9638 degree and this is going to be the current through the 6 ohm resistor in time domain I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.